Hello and welcome back. Today's topic is how to read body language of other people. Number one, cross arms and legs signal resistance to ideas. Even if people are smiling and seem engaged in a pleasant conversation, their body language tells a different story. Psychologically, cross legs or arms signal that people are mentally, emotionally, and physically blocked off. These gestures are unintentional, so they are easy to figure out. Number two. Real smiles crinkle the eyes to create crow's feet around them. If people don't have crinkles, their smiles must be hiding what they are thinking. Number 3. Copying someone's body language is a good thing. Humans imitate body language of other people when they feel a connection with others. It is really useful while negotiating because it tells us that the other person is receptive. Number 4. Eyes that lie. How true is the statement, look me in the eye when you talk to someone? To some extent, this is true because avoiding eye contact sends a signal that a person has something to hide and that arouses suspicion. Interestingly, if a person is lying, he or she can also hold eye contact longer than usual and if that makes you uncomfortable, then be aware the person could be lying too. Number 5. Raise eyebrows show discomfort. If somebody who is talking to you raises his or her eyebrows and the topic isn't one that would logically cause surprise, worry, or fear, the person might not be comfortable in that situation. Number 6. Exaggerated nodding signals anxiety about approval. If people nod excessively, this means that they are worried about what you think of them or that you doubt their ability to follow your instructions. Number 7. A clenched jaw and a tightened neck are all signs of stress. Even if a person does not express it, these are signs that show considerable discomfort. Number 8. Clenched fists like crossed arms and legs can signal that people are not open to your views. It can also make them look argumentative and defensive. It might make you nervous about interacting with such people. Number 9. Stouting is a sign of disrespect. Standing up straight with your shoulders back is a power position. It maximizes the amount of space a person fills. Slouching, on the other hand, takes up less space and projects less power. Therefore, maintaining good posture commands respect and promotes engagement during a conversation. Number 10. Watching the clock while talking to someone is a clear sign of disrespect, impatience, and ego. It sends a signal that a person has better things to do and that he or she is anxious to leave the conversation. Number 11. Inconsistency between a person's words and his or her facial expressions causes others to suspect that he or she is trying to deceive them, even if they don't know exactly why or how. Number 12. Rolling eyes show lack of respect. Fortunately, while it may be a habit, people can control it and it's worth the effort. Number 13. Scrolling or having a generally unhappy expression sends the message that a person is upset by those around him or her, even if they have nothing to do with his or her mood. Scrolls turn people away as they feel just. MRI studies have shown that the human brain responds favorably to a person who is smiling, and this leaves a lasting positive impression. Number 14. Weak handshake signals that a person lacks authority and confidence while a handshake that is too strong could be perceived as aggressive. Therefore, a person should adapt his or her handshake according to people, but it is important that a handshake should always be firm. And last but not least, number 15. Getting too close. If a person stands too close to someone nearer than one and a half feet, it signals that he or she has no respect or understanding of personal space. This makes people uncomfortable when they are around this person. So that's all for today. On a positive note, just to end, I would like to say that it is essential to note that avoiding these body language blunders will help people form stronger relationships, both professionally and personally. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Bye.